Recently, I was on a quest to find a device that can do a couple of things very, very well. And the quest was that I wanted to be using my MacBook and my Sony camera together in conjunction to one, see myself as in being able to see myself when I'm recording, which is not that easy when you have a Sony camera that only has a swivel screen, but not a real flip screen. And there is a solution for that that I showed in a different video where you can actually use the USB connection of the camera and the software provided by Sony. But that's really a hassle and a pain to use because it keeps crashing. It's really tricky to set up and you have to close all kinds of programs to actually be able to use that. But if you want to learn more about that, please check out the video that I linked in the description below. That's really helpful to be able to use that already. For me, I wanted to be able to use the HDMI connection to use my Mac as an external monitor because I don't want to carry an external monitor. I've tried that and it's kind of a hassle again to lug that thing around. It's an extra device, it's extra batteries or an extra power outlet. And it's really tricky to just set it all up all the time to fix it to the camera, to have an extra tripod and all that kind of stuff. But the other thing that I wanted to be able to do was use the camera as a camera for Skype calls, Hangouts, Google conferences, um, FaceTime calls and that kind of stuff. And just to have a more higher quality image than the average 720p webcam that's coming into the uh, coming with the laptop. So those two things were already one thing. However, the third thing is something that I'm venturing into that's completely new to me and I haven't really even gotten started yet. And that is that I found interest in live streaming and how that whole world works and to kind of like try to understand that world better. But as I do, and maybe that's a topic for another video, I like to do things on the higher quality end. So I ended up going for a solution that actually provides me with that ability as well. I wanted to be able to live stream. I got to know that OBS is pretty much the industry standard for live streaming as a software. And I wanted to try all these things out and share with you what I learned. Now, what I found out while researching all these different things and the devices that I could use and that kind of stuff, I found that pretty much the Elgato Game Capture HD60S is probably the industry standard or one of the most well used and um, talked about capture cards that can do HDMI and bring it into the computer. This card is really appealing. It has USB-C, which works great with my USB-C ports on the MacBook. It has HD 60, so it can capture 60 frames a second with HD. I think it can capture 4K at 30 frames a second. And it has a HDMI throughput, so if you want to be using it with a console or something like that, it really works well. Some of these capabilities and aspects weren't necessarily important for me, and you will see how that impacted me really shortly. But first, I want to give you a little message from past self because I currently actually don't have that device anymore because I had to change it for something else. But let's roll past me to give you that little message. So I guess I have to make a little message about this uh, Elgato HD60 capture device. And uh, this is kind of like just the proof I have the device. I tested it with my Mac. It does not work the way that I would expect it, especially since it says Mac compatible and things like that. Uh, but for more detail, I will continue with this in my video about the cam link, which should work even with a Mac because it just does the webcam thing instead of this one being a capture card device that is more professional, but for Mac users, if they wanna use OBS, practically useless. So as you've seen, the device is sent back and I now have an alternative because what happened was that the HD60S capture card from Elgato actually on a Mac at least is only compatible with the game capture software that Elgato provides themselves. Now it's really nice that they do provide that software and it is actually free to use with the Elgato capture system. Uh, the only problem that I found is that I wanted to use OBS and OBS is way more powerful if I want to do things like the screen capture and the like, scene collections and just changing things around. And in general, just the ability to change settings in OBS is way, 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 way more powerful. And I'm probably going to make a video about OBS itself as a screen capture software and video recording software because it is such an amazing tool and it's completely free and open source. But the downside was that the HD60S from Elgato is not compatible on a Mac with OBS. Now I've seen and learned that the OBS on Windows probably works really, really well. 
However, I don't have a Windows machine and I'm not getting anyone anytime soon. That's uh, beyond this point. I wanted to have a system that is smaller and I wanted to have less devices to lug around. So I ended up choosing an alternative that actually works on the Mac with the OBS software and my HDMI camera and everything. The solution was actually from the same company. Elgato makes a device that you see on the screen right now. It's called the Elgato CamLink 4K. And the funny thing is, it's actually smaller, cheaper, and it still does 1080p in 60 frames a second and 4K at 30 frames a second while being way smaller and cheaper. And not only that, it also comes with another ability, which is that it is recognized by the system as a webcam instead of a capture card. And that comes into play a little later. Sadly, however, this little dongle is stuck with a USB 3 classic port, which means that on a MacBook Pro that I have, I only have USB-C ports and I need a dongle or an adapter to um, convert it to USB-C. However, if you want to use this CamLink 4K with another hub in between, for example, if you want to connect multiple things onto one USB-C port, that sometimes doesn't really work. It's kind of sketchy and uh, this, like, the device actually wants you to just put the CamLink into the computer straight and ideally have its own USB-C port without anything in between, which kind of makes sense because of the data that's being pushed through. So it has the bandwidth for that. So if you want to use it with a hub, that's not necessarily advisable. And it kind of tells you, and then if you try re-plugging it in, it might work, but it may also not work. So just be aware of that to use one proper port. If you just have the MacBook with one USB-C port, then that's especially interesting because again, it may or may not work. So just be aware of that. But once everything was set up, it was really, really easy. It is literally plug and play HDMI cable into the camera, the other end into the converter dongle, and then that thing into the computer, USB-C port. You can use the software from Elgato, the game capture, but you can also use OBS. And on top of that, which the game capture card itself doesn't support, it actually also is supported in things like, for example, Google Hangouts, Skype, FaceTime. And now you can use your high quality camera everywhere. That's pretty amazing. And I actually thought that that's kind of funny that this little device actually has a feature that the big brother doesn't have, uh, which makes it better. And it's cheaper at the end as well. Overall, I have to say I'm pretty damn happy that I had to return the HD60S because of this incompatibility with OBS on the Mac, because now I can use the camera for video calls. I can record videos straight away into OBS with my screen and everything and just have the camera act as a on-screen kind of um, corner. I can also just watch myself on the screen, but at the same time record inside of the camera into the SD card. That's actually pretty beneficial because I noticed that the camera actually records at a higher bit rate. And for a computer to record the 4K signal coming through the cam link, it actually is a quite heavy workload and the fan keeps spinning up very heavily, whereas the camera can just record it into itself with no problem whatsoever. However, if you want to record longer, for example, if you want to record two hour videos and you don't have the camera that can do that, the Sony cameras, for example, are generally locked to only record about 12 minutes of footage, which can be unlocked. And you might be able to find that information if you search uh, on YouTube. There is actually a hack that you can alleviate that block completely so the camera can record longer as well. But nonetheless, there's the last benefit, obviously, and this is probably the use case that this device gets used most for, is that I can use my high-end camera and lens to record not only, but I also can live stream to Twitch, YouTube, and all the channels that uh, OBS can live stream to. And it works like a charm. It really works perfectly. One other interesting thing to think about is if you're thinking about buying a cam link or a webcam, Good quality webcams, HD webcams, can almost cost you the same amount of money. For me, this device was about 120 euros. And that was because it was in a uh, warehouse deal from Amazon. You might get it for 130, around that kind of number. And 
that's actually pretty damn good in terms of the price for this device, uh, for what you get, being able to capture HD 60 as well as 4K 30 on your computer, being able to live stream and using your high quality camera that you already own. And I just checked on Amazon, high quality HD webcams can run you 190 bucks as well. So if you're already owning something like this, then it might actually be a cheaper option than upgrading your webcam itself. So here you have it. If you have a MacBook and a high quality camera and you want to use that camera for live streaming or recording on the screen or and maybe you just want to know that you're tech sharp and focus and you want to see yourself, this device might be a good choice for you. And the Camlink 4K from Elgato is a great choice. It works really nicely and I've been using it for about two weeks now and I can recommend that. So you will find the link to the product in the description below. If you buy with that, it's an affiliate link. So you know that I will get a little portion of that but it won't change anything for the price for you. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please give it a like and share your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and maybe if you have any questions, I can answer those as well. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.